hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far uh, on the basic operations on signals we have completed the uh, time reversal we have discussed some concepts related to time reversal of signal so in this video we are going to discuss uh, another basic operation on signal which is amplitude scaling okay amplitude scaling operation so how is this amplitude scaling operation uh, is represented suppose we have a original signal a reference signal xt and we have to perform amplitude scaling on that signal so the amplitude scaling operation the new signal which uh, we get as a result of amplitude scaling let us represent it by yt so that will be equal to a x t here a is the scaling factor okay by what much amount we are scaling the signal so there are two possibilities here if a is greater than 1 it will result in amplification of the original signal second possibility if a is lesser than 1 then it will result in attenuation suppression the amplitude will decrease attenuation of the original reference signal so this is the mathematical representation of amplitude scaling so now let us see some examples on how amplitude scaling is done okay so now let us see some uh, with the help of some examples uh, what amplitude scaling exactly is so suppose we take a, a reference signal okay so let be a simple sine signal basically it is cosine okay this is one and uh, this is the time axis this is the amplitude axis so it is basically a cosine function cos 0 is 1 so like that this is 1 and this is minus 1 suppose we want to scale the signal let us say the scaling be yt equals to let's say 2 xt so here a is equal to 2 it is greater than 1 so obviously here amplification will happen so okay so it will be amplified by a factor 2 so this will be like this okay please forgive my drawing skills it is not that great but just you understand that it will be amplified by a factor 2 it will be twice double uh the amplitude of the original reference signal okay 2 xt now suppose we want to scale it down okay we want to scale it down let's say also by a factor 2 so 1 by 2 which is 0.5 it is 
lesser than 1. So, here it will result in attenuation. So, it will be uh, 0.5 minus 0.5. Okay. So, here it will be result in attenuation. 0.5 at uh, peak values it will be within 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. So, here we discuss two things first scaling up 2 x t a the value of a is equal to 2 which was greater than 1. So, there amplification happened here we scaled it down 1 by 2 a is equal to 1 by 2.5 which is lesser than 1. So, here attenuation occurred. So, this is how this whole thing goes ok the amplitude scaling. Here we have another signal uh, basically a square wave type uh, signal we have here a uh, square or rectangular type and uh, let us perform amplitude scaling operations on this signal. So, first let us do uh, scaling up 2 x t. So, here the amplitude will be scaled by a factor 2. So, first what you have to do identify the peak points. Here it is it follows a particular pattern it is periodic in nature. So, it will be very easy identify the peak points which is plus 2 and minus 2 multiply it with by 2. So, it will now be plus 4 and minus 4. So, the peak points of this amplified signal will be plus 4 and minus 4. And it will follow the same pattern like this. Only it will be amplified by a factor 2. And here also it will be like this. Okay, now the peak points are plus 4 and minus 4. So, first what you have to do is that identify whenever amplitude scaling operation you have to do identify the peak varying points of the original or reference signal in this case it is plus 2 and minus 2 and multiply that with the scaling factor here the scaling factor is a equals to 2. So, we multiplied that and then as it is a periodic signal it will follow the same pattern. So, we just repeated that pattern here, but here the peak varying points are from plus 4 to minus 4. Similarly, if uh, we perform a scaling down operation, let us say x t by 2. So, in that case we will divide both the peak varying points by 2. So, it will be plus 1 and minus 1. So, exactly it is not here. It will be somewhere here. So, again it will follow the same pattern. On this side also. Okay. So, same thing here we have scaled it down by a factor 2. We divided the amplitude by 2. So, again you have to identify the peak points and divide it by the scaling factor. So, here the peak varying points are from plus 1 to minus 1. So, it is a attenuation of the signal. Okay.